and driving around in my car looking for some kind of open bar it's gonna be all right gonna be all right got no money but i'll work it out with my charm having a good time what are the home. things i wish i would want different in this vehicle and what they are i mean so let's start number one i would say well a lot of people complain about the seats yeah i wish the seats were a little bit more comfortable um so that's definitely an option i still can't believe they haven't changed these seats in the last couple of years even the new model coming out i think has the same seats they may have changed a little bit but not, not much from what i understand so that would probably be um number one um now these are not in any order um so here's another bolt tip for you um when you own an electric vehicle, you have to manage how much heat you use. Obviously, because you want to have your battery last longer. So what I do in the Bolt is, once I get the room up to temperature, I'll hit the heat and AC button to off, but keep the fans blowing. Because that gives you another at least three to five minutes of good quality heat but without the energy being used from the battery <clears throat> so every 10 minutes or so after that so basically my system is I have the heat on I'm using it I click that heat and AC button off and about five or ten minutes later as soon as I just feel it getting slightly a little cool I will hit the auto twice that turns it the heat back on and I will then heat up the car to where I'm comfortable again and then turn off the heat AC button again once again so again it gives me at least another five minutes of quality heat coming out of there but without using the battery energy to heat up the vehicle <clears throat> saves you a lot of kilometers or miles on the in the on a long drive uh, obviously you don't want to use the heat when you can that's what's great about the bolt uh, with the heated steering wheel and the heated seats you almost sometimes don't need the heat on to begin with depending on how long your drive is but you're definitely going to need it sometimes so that's a tip to help you get a little bit more use a little bit more battery uh, from your vehicle but I wish there would be something in the software that would we could program to say you know what let the heat come on every 15 minutes for five minutes you know something like that so that way you don't have to manually do this to the vehicle that would be an awesome option for this vehicle you know when you build an EV vehicle why wouldn't you put that into the software that I mean obviously you the heat kills the battery so why wouldn't you have that as an option it's just a software thing it's so easy to build into the vehicle uh, that would be the to me the best thing to do to add to the vehicle to improve on this vehicle or any other electric EV vehicle for that matter I think partly the reason why is because the car is so small and agile makes it even more fun to drive it's like a little go-kart uh, I mean when you put your fo foot to the floor on this thing you actually uh, spin the tires pretty easy <laughs> There's so much torque there the tires spin too bad this vehicle wasn't all-wheel drive it would be completely awesome so GM if you're listening definitely uh, make a bolt EV all-wheel drive that would be a killer I think because I live up in Barrie Ontario and it's snow land up here and uh, I wish this vehicle was all-wheel drive for that reason uh, just to have that option just to, it 
the vehicle drives so much better when it's all-wheel drive. One other thing I would change is after being in the car for 10 minutes and you got the heated steering wheel on, the heated seats are on, and um, for some reason the heated seats goes down to number two level. I think it's just a, for a comfort thing and they do it automatically. But you know what? I don't want that heat to go down to level two. I like it the hottest point, the upper level all the time. Now, I guess everybody has their own opinion and some people think the seats are too hot and then it automatically goes down for them, which is good. But I would like to have that built into the software too, just to have that option to have that enabled or disabled. Again, simple software thing uh, could be fixed. I think another great option would be when you heat up your car, and please, some tell me if I'm wrong on this, but uh, uh, the heated steering wheel doesn't come on automatically. And um, my car, the heated seats don't come on automatically either when I'm preheating the vehicle. So that would be an awesome uh, thing that I would like to see improved on is when I preheat the vehicle, uh, the heat are he he going to be uh, heated and the steering wheel comes on. And it doesn't happen right now. I don't know if it's just my vehicle, but uh, I hope that's changed in the newer bolts um, that this happens. Because uh, again, to me, it, it should be a, just a software update that would fix this. Uh, but uh, that's what I would like to see fixed or changed. Yeah, the other one that I wish they had was the adaptive cruise control. I mentioned it before. I wish they had that in this vehicle. I don't understand why it was not put in. I, my understanding is the sensors are there and it's capable of doing it. Um, so why didn't it get in the vehicle? Uh, I don't know. Um, now I'm wondering if the newer vehicles have it. If so, that's awesome. I, but I think that would be an option that I wish the vehicle had. I wish the Bolt EV had four-wheel drive. Number one, I think. I, I would uh, love to have all-wheel drive in this vehicle. I know it's more expensive, but I would really consider paying the extra money to have the all-wheel drive. I think that would be awesome. One other thing I wish the Bolt had is a sunroof. Why do electric cars always have to go overboard on not having the nice options? The Kona EV is an example. Came out, it has a sunroof. And the price range is, is around the same. So I can't say that you're saving a lot because we didn't put in a sun, sunroof. Um, I would have paid the extra $1,000 or $1,500 to have that sunroof. Um, so yeah, I wish um, that is change in the Bolt EV and it would come with a sunroof. I would say another thing I wish I can do with this vehicle, I'm a computer geek so uh, I wish I could have more access to the screen, it's a beautiful screen. Um, I wish when the vehicle stopped I can utilize the screen more to watch YouTube videos or things like that. They have a gallery button which never seem to be able to get it to work. I know there's some techie guys out there that can probably tell me how to get that to work. And normally I have the time to figure that out but I just couldn't be bothered with the vehicle. But um, yeah, I wish uh, we can utilize that screen. Uh, obviously when the vehicle stopped. but. Um, I do have an Android device and I did root my old uh, Samsung phone and I was utilizing the screen um, with some hacks and I was able to play and utilize the screen just like you would with a phone. Uh, I can ha I have some videos of that I can show you. Meanwhile, the Directors Guild of Canada has announced its So Not Cool campaign. It urges cast and crew members to speak out whenever they witness harassment, bullying, or violence on a set.
but uh, I ended up getting a new phone. I have a Huawei P30 Pro and I cannot utilize that option any longer because I do not have my phone rooted. But um, it was awesome to be able to watch YouTube videos on the center panel and do anything I want with it when I was charging. Uh, but uh, again, you can't do that. So I wish we had that option. So these are just a few tips uh, and suggestions on things that I wish the Bolt would be differently. But uh, again, overall, the Bolt is an awesome car. Can't complain too much, but uh, if I was to give my suggestions on what I wish the Bolt would be uh, further or in the future, um, I wish maybe uh, GM could send out some updates for these type of improvements, which I think they have control over, uh, especially around the heating and so forth. Uh, I wish that change would be made. Um, but uh, guys, please subscribe and hit the bell button for my further videos. I'll keep you updated on uh, everything going on with this vehicle. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys decide if you're going to buy one or just keep you updated on your own vehicle. Uh, some watch outs and tips.